Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to my channel. I am here with a special unboxing. I've ordered something super awesome in the mail and I hope that you all enjoy the video. I'm actually wearing a thematically appropriate shirt. Now the figure, oops, spoiler, but the figure that I'm going to be unboxing today is a Yu-Gi-Oh figure. It is by Amakuni. It is the Artworks Monsters Black Luster Soldier and I was debating whether or not I wanted to get this one because you know, I'm not the biggest BLS fan, but it was a really cool figure, and I do have the Artworks Monsters Blue Eyes White Dragon. Now, I, I have already opened that one up. I don't have it on display, but with these Artworks Monsters, there unless this one's changed in the packaging, there is no, like, clear window to be able to look at it. So I did open up my my Blue Eyes, but it is still stored in the box. So, I, I mean, if you guys want, leave comments, and uh, I can do an opening of that video as well of that video, an opening of that figure as well, just to show it off. But this one, I haven't seen it all. Of course, I've seen the pictures on the, like, the sell sheet for it, you know, on the item description, but I haven't seen one in person, and I'm excited to share it all with you guys, because I enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh! things. You guys seem to enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh! things, so it's a good excuse for you to just make a fun video for the channel. But I did order it from Amy Amy. I've never actually had a problem with Amy Amy. The only complaints I've really heard about Amy Amy is people complaining about shipping costs, but I mean, hey, you're ordering something big coming from the other side of the world. Logically, it should be pretty expensive, but it actually isn't too bad. I've never had any problems with even getting damaged. I think, um, I've ordered multiple figures from Amy Amy. I've also ordered books. That's where I would manage to get a copy of the Bleach Jet art book, which was super heavy and required a lot of packaging, but it did come in mint condition, no dings whatsoever. So I'm really not worried about this packaging at all. One of the box corners is a little, a little pushed in right here, but I think everything should be okay. But in general, I definitely do recommend Emmy Emmy. They also give you like little rewards points. I mean, it's not much, but hey, a little bit is you know, a little bit, and a little bit can go a long way sometimes. But I'm excited to get this one on in here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the webcam in this one, if I'm going to be snapping or anything like that, because it is a bigger package. So I might have to adjust the focus a couple times throughout the video, but in general, I'm just excited to get into here. And if I need to get rid of this camera down here, the camera over there, the one that we normally use, I will. But I'm excited to get into this. So actually, I'm going to open this up here. And then, depending on the size, I could put it either underneath or I'll just like hide that window and then we don't even have to look. I mean, Nissa's pretty, but we don't need Nissa all the time. If you want to see more Nissa, we did have this Nissa playmat out for our live stream this past Saturday night. The, when was it? Saturday was the, what, the 7th or the 8th? Um, today's Monday. So Saturday would have been the 8th. You can go check that out. We actually did have a box of Yu-Gi-Oh! there, a box of, our last box actually, the Battles of Legend Armageddon. And we did hit that star, the Starlight Rare, I think, of the Utopia. That looks super cool. I didn't realize it was going to be in Zexal language, so that was cool to find. And of course, with personal breaks, I don't get to keep them, but I do get to open them. So I get to share in the excitement with the... Uh, it's actually the YouTube username of Dominic, who received that all those cards from that box. So, um, he was there, and it was super cool. Watched him in chat. He was like, ah, you know, when, like, you know, keyboard smashes and everything was super cool. And then Amy Amy does give you, like, this little... I mean, it's an advertisement. You know, it says, thank you for shopping with us. If anything's wrong with your order, blah, 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 make sure you contact. But it's like a cute little poster. A little waifu poster. Well, let me set this off to the side. I looked over. Yes, I'm still recording. Sometimes I get worried if anything happens. So if you see me looking over to the monitor, um, that's what's going on here. All right. Or no, this one isn't. Uh, the artwork monsters aren't Amakuni. The other figures I have are. These are Mega House. So ignore that. It is Mega House. Got all this packing paper. And it does look like, all right, so it is a little bit smaller. Here, I'm just going to move the microphone to hear my voice moving. That's what it is. But I just want to be able to put this flat here. I can show you what the little mini box here looks like. Oh, there it is. Just smacked your guys in the face with it. But it is a bit of a smaller box here. It's not even on camera. But there it is. There's the uh, mega house. That's cool. The box looks in nice shape, so that is nice here. I'm still not going to snap ourselves into the corner quite just yet. I'll just keep it this way. It reminds me of the time I did my first class edition of the Final Fantasy VII Remake unboxing. Because I was struggling with camera angles then too. I unboxed the uh, cloud with the bike, the Play Arts Kai. That also didn't have a preview window on it, so I wasn't actually going to open it. But then I opened it and I did play with cloud a little bit and the bike. So, you know, because... I want to make sure nothing was broken. Otherwise, yes, I am one of those weirdos that likes to keep everything safe for now. I mean, I just don't have proper display cases. 
So I'm always worried, like, I don't want dust to get into, like, certain crevices and whatnot. I do have a few things on display. I have a Kaiba figure out. I have some of my Kotobuki Shoujo figures out. I have a lot more than I have on display, though. But, let me slide this down here. And then I will pick this up. There we go. Looking nice here. And I will take off the paper, of course, carefully. Inspect the box first. Box looks nice. Alrighty. So gently. A little bit of rip on the paper there. I actually have a figure that I can do an unboxing for. It's still in the paper. It's not unlike the original box, but it's still in the paper. I have that Amakuni Yusei. I actually on the box that we opened on the channel of Battles of Legend Armageddon. I put a light goal for me to go ahead and buy the Jaden figure, but we didn't reach that. But you know what? I'll still probably buy the Jaden at some point. But, alright, let me do that again where I set it down and then pull up. I want to keep everything as nice shaped as possible. But yeah, I do collect, you know, for me having, how do I have pen ink on my hand? I didn't even touch any pens today. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, I might have to sacrifice this paper. The paper might have to go. Goodbye, paper. I don't think we're saving the paper here. But we are starting to carry Yu-Gi-Oh! more in our shop, which is cool. Unfortunately, I know some people were asking, I don't know that I was able to respond to that comment or not. I did see it, I, I can't remember if I responded to it. Because sometimes I check comments when I'm at home too, but I'm trying to have like the thing where like, alright, home is home time. We have a siren. Home is home time. I'll check like subscribers and new comments and like I want to see how the videos are doing with like likes and whatnot. But I don't do any work at home. I try not to bring it home with me. So like I'll see comments and be like, oh yeah, I need to address that. And then sometimes I will do it, sometimes I forget. But like I said, I do read all comments, even though it's getting hard to respond to it all. But um, unfortunately, uh, because of when we started ordering Yu-Gi-Oh! We, we used to carry Yu-Gi-Oh! in the past here. That was actually before I worked here. I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh! here before I worked here. But then it just wasn't doing very well for us, so we stopped carrying it for a bit. But with the popularity of actually that video I did with where I unboxed the uh, the blaster box I found at Target, uh, people said, we want Yu-Gi-Oh! so I managed to convince the boss to carry it again. So we did miss out on some pre-orders. We do have a couple things coming in. I think we were able to get some of the new gold set and something else, but starting in like November-ish is where we were able to get on pre-orders for a new set. So we will consistently have new releases then, but right now it's a bit iffy on what we can get. Depends on if other people at our distributor cancel some of their orders, because stuff was sold out, like the Rise of the Duelist, I think is the new one. That was sold out, and I guess no one canceled, so we were able to get it. So unfortunately I can't do my hack here and open it from the bottom, which is usually what I do if I need to open something up. But let's take a look at the packaging here. Mega House, Black Luster Soldier, Artworks Monsters. Now I'm really hopeful that they will make more in this series. I think, I'm not sure if it's an Artworks Monsters, it might be an Amakuni figure, which is why I'm getting confused. But there is a Stardust Dragon coming at some point. I know Figure 4 is making like a quarter scale Blue Eyes White Dragon, which is going to be ridiculous, but I have to have it. Don't know where I'm going to put it. Maybe if the channel's popular enough by then I can write it off as a business expense we just have like this 10 foot blue eye statue. I don't know. Like what even would a, a quarter scale blue eyes be sized at? I don't know. Having this box here is making the lighting weird so I'm gonna move it out of the way because it's making me look really pale. Which I am really pale but I'm not like that deathly pale. But anyways, so we're displaying the box over here. Alright, so here is this. It is sculpted by Kinchi Ando. And here are the different sides of the packaging here. So I will have to open it actually from the top, like a normal person, to check out this figure. But if you want to see any other figure unboxings, I have nearly all of the... which actually they're starting to re-release some, so maybe they'll make new ones, but the Kotobukiya Artifacts J uh, figures I have in box. I have a Tem, I have the two Merricks, I have the Korra, um, my Yugi and my Dark Magician and my Kaiba are all opened. Um, We'll see, but hopefully they make more Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, which is cool. So I will actually have to open this from the top. Right now I'm still operating with the two windows. Ah, uh, it feels so bad to open something. Is that weird? I don't know. Let's see, I don't want to... Alright, so I'm going to use the knife backwards to pop open this here. 
I say backwards so that way it doesn't pull on the on the actual box and like cut anything but as you can see it didn't here uh, it didn't damage anything it didn't crease the flap or anything like that so sometimes like you can either use like a flathead screwdriver or like I said like a little tiny knife at home we have like a little Swiss Army knife with the little flat part I use that to pop stuff open but at work I have this tiny knife which people are like oh you're gonna cut yourself I'm like this thing one it's pretty dull too it's tiny and if I do it I deserve it like if I'm not paying attention enough that bad that this thing hurts me then that's my fault don't worry for me you guys here down in there woo spooky webcam this looks cool all right hold on you guys I think UPS might be marking at the door so hold on let me just all right sorry about that unexpected interruption you guys but FedEx came I had to go pick it up I'll actually throw this opening at the end of the video why not it's actually a one of my boss's redemptions from Panini came in so I'm curious to see what it is would have been cool if I'd opened up the last one we got because it was a Kobe Bryant on card autograph so I mean maybe there's something dope in here but whatever my boss is in here I do what I want I'm in charge now <laughs> Don't tell him I said that, although he really doesn't care. Let's check this out here. Make sure not to crease on these sides. But yeah, some people were saying that they're, they're very actually pleased. They, they, uh, one person in particular was saying he didn't know about this figure, but once he learned about it, it was super awesome. And he was very appreciative that I mentioned it because he wants to add it to his collection. He was able to get one, which is awesome. But um, I'll let you, I'll definitely let you guys know if I come across any more information. Usually I just check out the Yu-Gi-Oh! Organization website. It is YG Organization for information on figures. There are some other figure websites I look at, but not that frequently. I must admit he's a little bit smaller than I expected, but my, you know, to be scale with the Blue Eyes statue, that makes sense. The Blue Eyes thing was uh, pretty big. Definitely looks super awesome, but let's see. Mm. Gonna be careful. There's an assortment of boxes down here. This is pretty cool. Check that out. Actually, Black Luster Soldier reminds me of the Warrior of Light from Final Fantasy 1, if I'm being honest. It's just because of the armor. I know they don't look the same at all, but I feel like if you took a if you went like right past someone and was like, what was it? And be like, um, Final Fantasy question mark. It'd be wrong, but I, w I could see people falling for it, just like myself. Well, let's actually check this one out here. Alright, these things are a little annoying, but alright, they have the push. Let me make sure, actually, first, before I open it up, there's no tape I have to cut or anything like that. Uh, there is a little bit. Alright, so I will... There's no tape. Oh, there is tape on this side. Alright, so I do have to cut the tape. Wah, wah, wah. Good thing I did check before I just struggled. But I will cut the tape on just the one side though, and then it should be able to open up like a little book. That would explain why this perhaps wasn't... Alright, that's open. It's open. Alright, the sword wants to come. Because he is, alright, he was attached to the tape. So, alright, be careful. Always be careful when you're opening stuff. You don't want to accidentally damage anything. Alright, oh, you can see the camera cord sticking out there. Alrighty. Actually, I should make him a bit more centered. Which, uh, I'm actually going to put autofocus on. Usually autofocus is off, because historically on the channel, autofocus has been not very kind to us. Let me configure a video settings, camera control, put autofocus on. Alrighty. Oop. No, I made that full screen. I don't like that. Okay. Cool. So hopefully this will help as I take him out. I don't have to hold him like a card's amount close to the camera. Here he is. That is really sick looking. It was really sick. Ugh, this because the Nissa playmat's bright. It's making this a little bit off. I'm actually no. I'm you know autofocus is going off. I'm just going to adjust zoom on that off. That looks good actually. Apply. All right, let's keep that there. Very cool. All right, so you do have to attach the sword, of course. And then this is where he attaches to the stand. Enemy stand user approaching. Wrong anime, I know, I know. Here is a sword, which does clip onto the arm. 
And the funny thing is I'm going to have to put them together and then I'm going to have to take them apart and put him back in the box. But for now, he can hang out with us. Probably should have done this video first so he can hang out in the background, but um, I did a couple of sports videos earlier. See it to believe it's for some awesome sports pools. And they might be confused as to what that thing lurking in the back is, but that's cool. It's like coming out of a little cauldron. Very nice. Unfortunately, it looks like there's a little bit of a scratch there, but maybe I can buff that out with a cloth or something. But you're not going to be looking at it like top down. You're going to be looking at it like this. So that is super awesome. Really digging that there. I am definitely happy that I did get it. I have a um, prediction that they'll be making more figures, especially if they're as popular as the blue eyes in this one. I think the, po the blue eyes on the secondary market's like up to $400, which is not what I paid for it. I think I paid two something, because like I said, it is much bigger actually than this one. This one I think was like 140 plus shipping or something like that when I pre-ordered it. Uh, there was a figure that I think might still be available for prayer, might not. It is a, don't remember the brand, but it is an Alexis Rhodes figure from GX. I wasn't too crazy about the way that one looked. Um, if it was perhaps a different pose, I might have gotten it, but I wasn't crazy about it. So I don't have that one coming in, but I am getting, because I missed out on it originally. I was just trying to save money at the time, and I waited a little bit too long in our local anime shop, and it sold. But the Figma, they're re-releasing the Dark Magician Girl Figma. So I'll pick that one out, or pick that one up when it comes out. Here's the sword. Put that down there. I actually want to keep him set down on the ground so I don't put too much pressure on accident. All right, that slides on in there. Very nice. All right, so here is the marks on the feet. Put his feet in there. Ooh, that looks super awesome. Back up to the base. This is looking cool here. I like how you can see him now. He's tall enough that you can see him down in the here. I'm still not used to these angles, my, my hairy arms, excuse my hairy arms, but down here, you can see him sticking up, and then attaching the shield here. Alright, that looks dope. Alright, I'm going to unsnap myself here, because this, this angle I don't feel like is very helpful. Wrong button, here we go, nailed it. I'm a professional, I swear you guys, but this looks super cool. My own Blackluster soldier. Looks awesome. I wish, uh, hopefully, in the near future, I can get a display set up with all my different stuff. I can have like a Yu-Gi-Oh shelf, but I would like to get like those IKEA cabinets with the glass doors. Like I said, so I just don't have to worry about dust and things like that. You know, because there are a lot of crevices in here where if dust gets into, it can be hard. Like I actually have one of my figures that's open is the Kotobukiya Shoujo of Storm, and it has like a swirly like water base, like you know, so it looks like a kind of like a, a tornado, like a, a water tornado. What are those called? Water spout. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. And uh, unfortunately some dust has gotten in there and I can't really get it out so it just kind of looks weird. But yeah, so that that is, you know, you got to be careful. You got to either religiously dust your figures or have something like, I don't know what you would get that out with, like a wet Q-tip maybe. But um, yeah, it can be unsuspectingly weird and difficult to take care of your things. But, I feel like his foot's not all the way in here. I don't want to push too hard too either because I, I do have to take him back out put him in the box because I don't have a spot, the spot to display him or the space to display him at the moment so he will be back in his box and thrown into my pile of boxes. But this is super awesome. I am definitely pleased that I got it. It looks really good. Very pleased with the detail. The paint job and paint application looks really nice. His sword is super cool. His hair is super cool. It looks like a dragoon from Final Fantasy and also a cross between Warrior of Light and like Kane too, with the coloring of like wall and the style. Yeah, like a, a Dragoon. Dragoon, what am I even talking about? Dragoon, anyway, Dragoon. Uh, this is really cool. I do like this a lot. And what else was I gonna, oh, I was gonna open up this spaghetti package. This is super awesome. I hope you all enjoyed this unboxing. I would rate this figure. Uh, I mean, just for coolness, A plus, A plus for coolness, A plus for ease. A plus for shipping, packaging. Would would prefer the plastic window for the box, but I know sometimes that makes it more difficult. And you know, you won't you won't actually take a look at your figure. It forces me to open stuff, so you know, whatever. This is awesome. And like I said, not sure if any of you are card people, but why not? Let's hang out. Let's open this panini package by snapping ourselves into the corner. Here is a point where I'll actually want to turn. Well, I had it off. I'll just have to hold it. I think a little bit lower. Oop, there's the plastic. Careful with that. Let me open this on up. Let's see if we can get anything crazy in here. Not sure what's been coming in for me. 
But I feel like we've been getting like a new redemption thing in like every every week or so. So hopefully it's something cool. I do hear it sliding around in here. Oh, packages and packages. Look, Panini customer service. Seems like something maybe in a magnetic. Let's see what's in here. Alright, it is something magnetic. Let's see what it is together. It is a Drew Lock. What is that? Panini 1. 77 out of 99. Patch auto. That is cool. Rookie patch auto of Drew Lock. Quarterback for the Broncos. Huh. Interesting. Weird that it would be a redemption. But it is an on-card and a nice patch. Wouldn't be cool if there was more down here, but hey, patch is patch, you can't complain too much. But that is it for this video, special Panini Redemption unboxing, mostly Black Luster Soldier figure opening. Like I said, I do have the blue eyes if you guys want to see it. I don't know if you guys even know that that exists, but it is super awesome. I, I have no problems finding a day that's not that busy to come in and open it up on camera for you guys and just show you the thing is massive. Like, it's not like huge, huge, but... Compared to the BLS statue, it is pretty big, but he is super awesome. Look at him right there, he's like, psh, 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 psh. BLS says subscribe or get shanked. <laughs> but this is really cool, and yeah, thank you all for watching, for me goofing around with this. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to turn that like button blue down below. If you have comments for me, make sure to leave them down below. Like I said, I do read them all, don't get to respond to them all, but I do, I do see them, I do see your thoughts. Whether they're nice or not, I read it. But thank you all for watching. Hope you are taking care of yourself, staying safe, because things are crazy right now. Hopefully, and hopefully we can have more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos in the future. Hopefully that Stardust Dragon comes out soon, and then I can have that. And it'll be like, ooh, Stardust versus Blue Eyes. Which one is cooler? Spoiler alert. It's the Blue Eyes, but that Stardust, Stardust looked super awesome, too. And it goes with my Yusei figure that I have. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Take care, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye!